What has happened over time is the protocols that we have has settled down where uh, th there's certain protocols we use much more frequently than the other protocols. And those protocols blur the lines between some of these layers. And so that's the TCP IP model. So let's get into the TCP IP model and see what the difference is with the TCP IP model over the OSI model. So there we have it. There we have the OSI model and the TCP IP model and how they stack up against each other. And as you can see, they're very similar. And as I mentioned, uh, what, we've, what we've seen is that there are certain protocols that we use that are um, much more prevalent nowadays that don't, re don't have that same delineation between all of those layers. So in some senses, it doesn't make sense to necessarily have that delineation with some of our protocols that we use nowadays. So we've combined the layers five, six, and seven now to just be one application layer. So that's the one of the difference between the OSI model and the TCP IP model. Uh, there is a little bit of a naming uh, convention difference there, network and internet um, layer right there, but essentially it's the same thing. I wouldn't get too wrapped up about it. Just know that there's uh, two different names for that right there. And then you have this bottom layer. Um, you know, our local area networks primarily use Ethernet now, and it works conjunction. It's both a, really a layer two and a layer one. Uh, combined and so we've got our network access layer when we get into those different layers we'll see that there it is divided a bit um, but with the TCP TCP IP model they just combine it into one there's a network access layer and uh, and so we'll talk about uh, all those different layers and get into them we're going to talk about it um, both from a OSI model perspective and we're going to get into a TCP IP model perspective and take a, as we go through and we step through what each one of these layers offers and how the, each one of these layers perform. Hey, thanks again for watching my videos. Don't forget to like that video because that really helps me out. Also, uh, to help you out, I'm going to try to put more and more down into the description of these videos. So if you scroll down underneath the videos, you might be able to find some additional resources to help you out. Also, there's the comment section. So if you want to comment on any of these videos, it can give me feedback. It can ask questions where other people or I can get in there and, and answer your questions. So, so feel free to use that comment section and those different resources that I'm going to post down below.